I call myself a gray area kid. I'm not white enough, I'm not black enough. I'm just like in the middle in this gray area. So what does that mean? Who am I? Everywhere I go, the people really want to know who I is and who I be. They stop and stare when they see me. If instead of once, no need to repeat. Run up on me, watch you fall to your knees. I'm Tasha Cloud. I play for the WNBA's Washington Mystics. And today I'm chilling out with Matt Rabbit. When you lead with love and light, it makes a world of a difference. That's how I lead my activism. That's how I lead being a point guard and being able to create relationships and bonds with my teammates. My aunt Dawn is a Hall of Famer in basketball and softball. My dad was really big though too, always making time regardless of working two jobs or not to come home and play sports with us outside, especially me. So I really got my love and passion for the game of basketball through them. From a young age, I knew that I was good at basketball. I've skipped my proms before to go to AU Nationals. You make those sacrifices along the way. First tattoo was this little family thing, and I don't know who I thought I was at 16, but I thought I was a bad bitch simply by this. I'm not. Family is my core, and so that was what was most important to me. My grandparents, they were the rock of our family. You're gonna see me get emotional talking about them, so. Let me apologize in advance. <laughs> well, they set the standard. And I'm so blessed because of that standard. That family always comes first. Doesn't matter what you have in life, if you have money, your car is closed, whatever. But none of that is important if you don't have your family. I have tattoos to commemorate them. And one of them is my favorite, which is the doves on my wrist. Their love for each other was like a fairy tale. It was genuine, it was pure. My grandma took care of the house and she was like the boss of everything. A few years before she passed, she wrote a letter. The last line is said, I will always be with you because you are a part of me. That's her handwriting. The love that my grandparents showed carries over into everything I do. I had a privilege growing up in an all white family. I have a white mother who still knew she had to sit me down at 16 and when I was getting my permit and my license and had the talk with me. You're gonna get pulled over because of the color of your skin. While I did have my privilege, I still was black. I followed around stores within my local town. I was pulled over by police countless amount of times, even just going to my own basketball games. It is really hard for mixed children. Situations that my brother and my sisters face, it's completely different than, than my journey. You see me as Tosh, but when I go out, people see me as just a black woman, so I'm seen as a threat. People are scared of me. People treat me differently. They treat me like I'm less than. And then that on top of it, I also am out about being bisexual. Being a black woman that's bisexual, you're over-sexualized because you like both. I got my girlfriend's lips. My mom is gonna kill me. I probably should have looked at these before I came in here today. <laughs> at this point, I had just gotten really small tattoos. And one day I was just like, I'm gonna go get these fucking roses. And I went and got the roses. And I was like, I'm doing a sleeve. This looks badass. My journey is embedded into everything that is tattooed into me. It's the process of my journey into who I am. It's really hard to get into the WNBA. There's only 144 roster spots. I'm coming off a championship year. I'm coming off of one of my personal best years. I'm choosing to sit out. But what happens is George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. And it doesn't matter if you know those individuals or not, being a part of the black community, you understand that trauma. It shapes me in my activism and why I speak out. When things are wrong, to stand up for things that are right. I have an uh, opportunity to be a voice for the voiceless and amplify issues that are being forgotten about or just swept under the rug. I want to be able to take responsibility and speak on things that are plaguing our communities, communities that look like me, that believe in the same things that I believe in. I have a solidarity fist. It's powerful, it's relentless. Whatever obstacles come along the way, like I'm going to fight to make sure that my children's lives, they don't face the same issues that I face. Rest in peace, Chadwick. I have a tribute to him on my leg. The necklace that he wears, I have that around my arm. Do y'all want to see my leg? Because it is fresh, OK? I have a praying queen, because that's what I feel like I am. Like She's clearly naked, and that's at your most vulnerable state. I've been in DC my entire career. I've won a championship here. Walking through my community in the morning, I'm going to say good morning to everyone. That one little act of kindness can make the world of a difference, and when you do that, everything else will fall as it should. 